Hey, okay. So I, this is how I do math workshops. Um, with my, I have a hybrid class. So a lot of my traditional kids are doing seesaw activities, unless some of them are on paper. Um, but some of them are just seesaw. So for example, I do my um, morning routine or my math routine with them, which might be subitizing. Right now we're doing story problems. So they get the whiteboards to start math every day. We do two to three word problems together, draw them, um, write the number sentence. They put those away. We come back for my math lesson, do my math lesson, and then I send them off to math workshops. Before I send them off, we discuss our seesaw assignments for the day. So for example, if you see right here, I have the more practice with 10 and some more. So I just click, click add response and sample student, and then I model it, showing them exactly what to do there. Then I'll assign them the second activity, um, which was the today's number. So that doesn't need as much explanation since we've been doing that since, you know, 11. Um, but I would go through and assign that. Then when they're done, I say, okay, complete your two seesaw assignments. And then they have dream box and snack time. That way the kids aren't saying I'm done and just waiting there. So I say dream box and snack. And whenever they're alive and they hit the home button on their iPad, they can still hear me. It turns off their video, but they can still hear me. So I'll be like, all right, kids, come back. And we come back around 120 every day. That's the end of the math block. And they know that. Um, so I just kind of will sit there a few times. Come back, come back. We'll do a wiggle. Normally, they're, if they don't hear me say come back, they'll hear the music from the wiggle and they'll come back and we'll transition to a new one. Um, there are some times where we have like the online games. So I'm trying to find one. Okay, here's one. So race to the top. So all I do is I just create the assignment, call it the game, they click on the link. Um, Hopefully it's still recording. So they'll click on the link. Now I have had to modify this because on iPads it's really hard to write the number. So just to modify it, I let them um, color in. So they're not, oops, they're not getting the practice writing the number, but it's too hard for them to write with their finger in that little box. So if they were to flip over the number uh, 15, they would fill that in. I got 16. So uh, once they do that, all my kids now know how to take a screenshot. So I've taught them take a screenshot. They go back to Seesaw. Um, and you'll see they upload a screenshot of themselves playing it. So this kid was able to write it on there. Um, and that's their math workshops. You know, I just have to do the best that I can that I hope they're completing it. That was a really hard one to complete all the way to the top. Um, they upload a screenshot themselves. So on some days, their assignment will be just to go play those never ending games and um, they'll have four or five. So one more example today, we had just two math workshops that so we had count back to one from 20 and then write the missing numbers. So normally what I do, especially at the beginning of the school year, my parents didn't know what the kids were doing. They weren't listening. Um, what are they supposed to be doing right now? I got tired of parents asking me that. So I made these remote slides and it has the directions um, for what we're doing. Like for example, math, it's got a timer. So I set the timer, it's got whatever anchor chart we're using um, and then what they need to be working on. And of course I have a recess and lunch timer because parents would ask, what are they working on? My small groups, um, when you're trying to get onto the math one. My kids pretty much know the math routine now, but it would be like, for example, when it, last time I used it was two seesaw assignments. Collect 15 together, today's number, and then Dreambox and stack when you're done. Then I keep the class code um, there so they can log in. That way parents aren't asking, what's the code? What's the code? Uh, whatever. And I'll set my timer. They get more than 20 minutes for math workshops. Um, usually I start the 20 minutes whenever it's about that time. Like when they should be finishing, your marks the sack, hit the timer. Uh, so if they come back, they have an idea of how long it is. And then if ever we finish it, everyone said, all right, we're done with um, Seesaw. Then I'll just move to snack time. And like, if there's only 10 minutes left, I would just fast forward and say, okay, you know, here's our timer. We've got nine minutes left and just fast forward. Uh, so I don't have to keep putting in different time timers. All right. And then lastly, whenever we are doing math workshops, personally, um, I sit there and live check. So going back to Seesaw. 
what I do is I share my screen. Um, well, I let all the kids get started and then I'll share my screen and I'll pull up one of the kids and say, uh, for example, if it was a remote kid, I'd be like, Alejandro, Alejandro, come back. And I'd wait, you know, I'd check, wait for the camera to pop on. And they say, yes, Miss Ed. And I'd explain where they would make a mistake. And I'd say, I'm going to send it back to you. And they'd say, okay, and I'd go fix it. So I really live check it to give them that live feedback because otherwise um, they just turn in anything. So that's kind of my math workshop window block. And that's what works for me. Um, I have had where I've put like a choice and they've had three different links and they could pick which games to play on. But personally, when I do it that way, I find they don't play all three games. That's why I just make multiple assignments and they have to submit a screenshot. So I know they at least attempted to play. So I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, reach out, let me know. And uh, I'll be more than happy to help you out. And if you ever have time, I don't know when your planning period is, but you can always pop in on my class during math time and see like how the process works. Just let me know.